じゃあどこ行ってんの大学えっえっウソンと俺ら大学生だってなあきよ追いついてるぞ。How's it going, guys? Donnie coming to you from Massage Japan Penguin Star Garage. Different strokes for different folks. You hear that a lot of times. A lot of times people say it, just be saying it, but for sure for this time we got a bunch of dips here from the Super, so we're definitely talking about that. So we'll be talking a little bit about the JCA 80 Super. Uh, but most of the stuff does apply to all cards because differentials work the same way mechanically. Working on JZ80s, you've been seeing a couple of supers uh, recently. This one right here and a uh, blue and white one here in the background. And essentially, I got a bunch of diff work going on for these supers. So here I got a、uh, JZ80 uh, RZ Supra. You'll hear a bunch of numbers thrown around 3.7, 4.0, 3.2, 200mm, 220mm, things like that.、Um, I'm not going to get too technical on this because this, I think、uh, you guys out there should read for your own understanding because there's a lot of data out there. So essentially,、uh, with this one, here we got the Super Lock LSD that's going to replace the stock differential in there, getting us a two way、uh, fill. A little bit more on the expensive side for this, but it's definitely more worth it, a lot more quieter.、Uh, everything is pretty much set up in here where you just got to put your rain gear in here,、uh, do a little bit of backlash, and then get to it from there. So, this owner wanted that because, again, there's nothing wrong with the diff he has here. Actually, the diff right here is,、uh, is, is going to be for the、uh, blue one out there, automatic、uh, JZ80. So, we're going to throw this into that car. That one is a uh, NA uh, small diff, 200 millimeter style. Open stall, and you can tell from looking at this、uh, subframe here. See, you got two bushings there on the one on the super. There, as you can see from the picture here, you have a、uh, you have a bushing on the left side, and you have an open one on the right side. So, for you guys got the JZA 80s, the JZX、uh, vehicles, you'll be able to see if there's a true NA if it has that diff,、uh, that diff carrier. You can't really、uh, go in, in, in a subframe. Uh, and, and with that, I, I say that, but that's by default. So, so a lot of times people will actually, for whatever reason, swap, swap、uh, subframes and things like that. So you got to be careful. You, you can't really pinpoint it, but that's a good way to see, to see what you got. And also, just looking at the physical size of these,、uh, these divs, I, I don't have the small one now because it's in a car right now and I got to still drive that one. But these are much more bigger than the 200 millimeter、uh, rain gear from the smaller Super in a open style. So these are the 220 big, your bigger, big style. You hear a whole bunch of different things out there. So、uh, again, once you, read, you guys see this and read this, you understand it.、Uh, but essentially,、uh, getting to differentials, the biggest thing that a lot of guys don't do when you do a lot of swaps, and this one is going from this one, it's going to be going into the Super R154. Replacing the R, a W58, the final drives are different, and you'll hit final drive for the transmission, all the gears, final drive for the diff, and that stuff is confusing. So, in a nutshell, so you'll see a bunch of numbers up there when you pull up the ratios for the transmission for the differential. So, essentially, you'll hear guys throwing out again 4.1, 3.7, 3.2, 3.1. There's a lot of different things out there, a lot of different applications, so it doesn't apply to everybody. For the layman guy who's just going to drive normally, Don't get too much into it because, again, you're not going to really, if you're not utilizing for drag racing or highway pulling or stuff like that, you're not going to understand the difference between tall gears and short gears. So you hear those terms a bunch. A bunch of lingo, different places. Japan says different things. America says different things. So you have to bear in mind that people are saying the same thing but a different way. So essentially, the bigger, the taller that gear, or you say、uh, a 3.2 for, let's say, the first gear, 3.2, 4.2, something like that. That means it's going to go quicker because you want to accelerate. You want to get out of the box. You want to go. And then as you go down, you'll see those numbers going. You look at those charts. It'll start at like a 3.2, then it'll go to like a 1 point something, a 1 point something, and then a 0 point something. And you can change that stuff all up and change it around for how for your driving.、Uh, a lot of guys, when you drive Sakuba, Sakuba guys will have a transmission box. Now you got, you got quick change gears. Back in the day, you got to change the whole transmission, diff, stuff like that to get that、uh, ratio down to what you want to do for the, that track you're at. The winner's quick changes, you got the sicky stuff and all the stuff out there. Again, I'm not、uh, selling this stuff or point, pointing out. Just want to get a little bit technical on what the gear is and how you actually,、uh, from the video you've seen from the start of the video, 
losing a lot of acceleration because you got a RB25 and S13 with this uh, ratio, with this final, blah, 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 this dry shaft size, wheel size, all that stuff. When they put the power to the ground, you know, it's going to spend different on 19s versus 16s versus 12s. So when you put a car on a dyno here, and that's why, again, it, it, the dyno is a cool tool, but it shouldn't be utilized for everything because you could dyno a car on 17s, dyno the car on 19s, dyno the car on 22s. They're going to be all different figures because you're changing mechanically the size of that cylinder that's on cylindrical uh, object that's on your uh, bolted to your your bearings and your your lug nuts and all that stuff like your axle is going to wait it's going to act different so it's very technical but it can be made very easy so a lot of guys out there when you you don't understand what this look for and when people ask what, what ratio is it when you sell a car if you don't know don't lie because you don't know what's in it so if you're selling a uh, s13 and it should it should be a 4.1 or 4.2 and it's actually a 3.9 it's actually a little bit better at certain tracks and race. So if you tell the guy you got a 4.1 in there, it, it'll make the guy kind of angry when they pull it out. So this is a, a good prop I got right here. So this is a uh, R, R200 from a or open R200 from S13. So this one right here is going to pretty much you look on the side of the rain gear, as you can see, and the rain gear to have two numbers on there. Say 39, whatever, 39, uh, you know, uh, it'll say two numbers on there. And the way you figure out what you got there is essentially by dividing the uh, numbers, dividing the 39. So for this one, it says 39 and 7. You're going to divide 39 by 7, and then they'll give you your ratios of 4.1111, so as you can see right here. So again, you got this guy right there. So there's a certain amount of teeth, and then you got the pinion that goes to there and turn it. So again, go in your house. Stuff works because I don't, I, I, again, I can't, I want to make this a quick video, and I don't want to uh, run on because you can go really deep. Um, again, I've been doing this for 20 years, and honestly, uh, it wasn't until about 2011 or 2012 when the uh, article came out, and, and I knew I knew what disc was and how they work, of course. But as far as what numbers they were, I didn't care as long as it worked. It spun the wheels. But again, you go in there. I, I seen the magazine, and I seen like you know, uh, four one is is better at this track. Four two is better here. Three seven is better here. Three two is better here. So between you know Bihoku and Ibisu and Nico they all got different things so what some guys would do is essentially build that car to the track they go to the most and then leave it at that or if you're going to hit up Ibisu, Manami, uh, Ibisu, Higashi, Nishi all different uh, long courses entry stuff like that you can have a car that's pretty in the, pretty much in the middle and go from there so you're looking at two different discs right here this one looks like there's nothing on it and this one like same thing so essentially you see all, all the bolts on there on that diff right there those bolts are the same ones that I mean it's not this one but it's the same uh, same idea in another car take all the bolts off bolt this guy on in there and then you have like your diff and the same thing this when I take this ring gear off this guy's gonna look just like this naked without it on there so uh, what you can do uh, a lot of Nissans you can actually play with the ring gears the pinions and you can actually buy them so if you got a diff a nice diff already and it's a 4-1 and you want uh, three, four, so then you find that ratio. So you got a Largo, you got different uh, rain gear and pinions out there that you can get. And essentially you find that match. You can't mix them up. It, there's some science and stuff behind it. So you got to make sure the rain gear and the pinion are matching. If it doesn't match, it won't, it, it won't work. And uh, you can't take a pinion from a Toyota and put it in this or a pinion from a R180 and put it in an R200. It doesn't work that way. It might spin it once and then it, it, won't, it won't happen. Um, so again, you can research that. You can change it around. Um, so there's differentials. When you get into, you know, uh, different things, I man, differentials can be a lot of fun. And you can have the same car, same mods, same level drivers, and one will be equipped a lot faster uh, with that. So case in point, the 180, uh, 180 that I sold not too long ago, that's getting it sold again with the 1UZ. Um, I had the 1UZ was made it to a Z32 transmission, single single drive shaft, 18-inch uh, wheels going to a uh, diff, S13 diff, and a diff I put in there was a 3.9 or a 3.8, I can't remember. But man, that thing, it was nice, man. Like the uh, acceleration was nice. Actually, no, I believe that was like a 4.1 or 4.2. So the, cel the yeah, because the acceleration was really good. But then when I put one on a highway with the gearing from that Z32 transmission, it, w it, it was annoying because it was like, you know, it was it was like I was stuck in gear. I needed I needed a sixth gear to cruise because it was just like fifth gear, 3000 RPMs in that drone. So when you guys get that and you do the swaps, that's why you get it because your, your gearing is set up. You're supposed to be going at that point. Start looking at your differentials and figure out how to get more power with, with not what with without adding more power if that makes sense you're going to get more acceleration get more speed 
So that'll all change things. And uh, believe it or not, man, it'll make your, uh, your, your car much more fun and much more enjoyable uh, versus like having a sluggish car off the line if you want to go quicker. Because that sense of speed is just how you, get off the, how you get off the gate and how you go quicker. So if you're not, you know, feeling that it's because, and you swap some things around, it's because honestly your gear ratios are probably off. So that's been a quick tech, a quick tech tip on differentials from Panko Style. I, I rambled a little bit because again, there's so much to touch on and I don't want to be here all day. So Google and uh, look up differentials. And if you want to get some different done here at Panko Style, send me an email and we can uh, set it up. So it's going to be Donnie Sano from Asal Japan, Panko Style Garage. See you guys later. Peace.